Hello everyone, welcome back to my playthrough of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. In the first video we just did uh, the basic introduction in Motorville, which we're going to continue in this video too. Um, what we're going to do next is we are looking for a magic wand with Mr Drippy, so let's do it. Let's go. Eh, what are you looking at? Don't tell me you were thinking of using this lamppost as a flipping wand. Well, you can cut that out for a start. It's way too flipping big. We need a stick or something like that, ain't it? Why don't you go and have a look over by there? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So Sorry if I sound quite awkward. I'm still getting used to narrating that way. It's so weird. <laughs> This is one proper tidy motor, eh? Might get myself one of these. <coughs> Sorry, now's not really the time, is it? There ain't anything one like over by here either. Let's go and look over the other side, shall we? Uh, okay. Oh, and when you find something, don't forget to pop it in your bag for keepsake. For, for keepsaking? For safekeeping. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got a bottomless bag. Um, like I said in my other video, I'm not actually going to narrate the uh, tutorial type stuff. So, yeah. In there, you'll find all your items nicely sorted into different categories. There's Andy. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Put it in my bag. Sure. Yay, bottomless bags now accessible. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's no use. There's nothing around here that looks like a wand. You are not wrong, Bunting. All right, we better split up then. Broaden the search, like. I'll go and take another quick look around your house. You stay here and head up the outside search, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> Oliver, so unsure of himself. Okay, brown and sticky, brown and sticky. Oliver? Huh? Oh, it's you! You're... you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. Wait, so... How do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you... going? Invisible hey, girl. where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick, like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me. I wanted to know if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. <laughs> but it looks like I got my answer, huh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Top. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it, see? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people ride in your world? The runes are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. 
But for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato. What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Do I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? Yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. Right. Right. Now we need a place to cast our spell. To cast Gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. You need space to give it oomph, see? Apparently, but you never need space to give it oomph ever again in the game. Do we really need just that cast much it anywhere, really? Oomph? Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, innit? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. You really are new to this, are you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about here. Yeah? Oh, uh, sorry. Now, take me somewhere <laughs> with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by here. Yeah? Um, the town square, I guess. All right, to the town square then. Let's go. <laughs> Look at Mr. Drippy just hopping along there. Oh, some people find him quite irritating, but I think he's adorable. He does grow on you if you are finding him irritating. He becomes quite charming. So. Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Go on, Ollie boy. Cast gateway. Um. Okay. <gasps> That's it, man. You got it. Apparently dogs can see magic, but humans can't. Told you, they didn't notice a thing. Yeah. Let's get a shunt in, crybaby bunting. For the last time, it's Oliver. Hey, it's not bad work for a crybaby, this. <laughs> cool. Let's go to another world. Oh. Oh. Hey, wait, wait <laughs> he literally just said what I did. <laughs> ah! Ah! <sighs> right. Oh. Let's get going, shall we? Huh? Hey, wait for me! So this is your world. Ah, home at last. But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk. Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Huh? Jeepers. Oh, Nickers, where did he spring from? Huh? Ah! <laughs> what do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that <laughs> stick you got for there. Swim Give him away. a whack in and send him packing. Huh? Huh? Ah! Look, Lively, he's making his move. <laughs> right. There's all the battling stuff. Let's go. Right, yeah, all this tutorial stuff, skipping through, pretty obvious. You've got the green badge, your HP, the blue badge, your MP. Yeah, you can see the enemy's health. Yep, yeah, and obviously you've got your different attacks down the bottom. It says use use the the pad. To select but you can use l2 and r2 which is much faster and easier which is what i do 
to like look L2, R2. Just scroll through. Oh, he's so weak. <laughs> That's a glim, obviously the same colour as your HP and your MP restores whichever colour it is. A glim! Yeah. Blah blah. You can also get gold glims, which I'm sure he'll explain later. Oh, I'm so used to being like level 99, <laughs> like a god in this game. Jeepers, creepers. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, Mr. Drippy. But where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it. But you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder, didn't I? Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shadar showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks prick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken hearted. Broken hearted? Like, sad? Worse than that, much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will! And that's why we need to find you a better wand! All right. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy! <laughs> oh, God. Oliver's lime reads are just as crap as mine, really. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, Ollie boy? Ah, it's good to be back. Our world is absolutely riddled with monsters. If one of them spots you, you'll see a big exclamation mark pop up over its head and it'll charge. When it gets within touching distance, you'll have to fight on your... Oh, you'll have a fight on your hands. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Tutorial stuff. Oh yeah, here, here's just a little something. Consider it a gift from the Lord High Lord of the Fairies. Ooh, bread. Uh, thanks. What do I do with these? Oliver, really? It's bread. What do you think? You eat it. <laughs> just have a munch on one of them when you are feeling a bit ropey. And you'll be right as rain in no time, mun. But a wizard cannot live by bread alone, Ollie boy. He needs a proper wand and all. And that knobbly thing in your hand is doing my flipping head in. See that big castle to the north? That's Ding Dong Dell, that is. I reckon we'll find ourselves a one by there, so let's get moving, shall we? Okay. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm so terrible at um, reading the narration. Oh, God. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm sorry. Oh, let's fight. There's no point in me trying to run away from them right now. So I might as well just turn and face them. Let's defend. Oh, I 
attack. <laughs> There's a little twinkling spot over here which I'm going to grab because when we do get to Ding Dong Dell there's a quest pretty much immediately where you have to get some of those plains wart flowers. So... Yay, another bite! <laughs> Rhino Let's saw! Go. Hit him! Whack him! <laughs> uh oh. Ah. I can defend. Not very well. Really. Cool. Yay! Leveled up. I mean, I do have tips for, like, XP farming, but that's a lot later in the game. Um, the early days of the game is a bit of a grind, unfortunately. You just have to battle loads. <laughs> so, to Ding Dong down. Oh, knickers, there's something I forgot to tell you. But what's that, Mr. Drippy? Oh, yeah, it's tutorial stuff. <laughs> you can switch vibration on and off there as well, ain't it? Speaking personally, I'd have it on. A rumble just ain't a rumble without a bit of rumble, is it? That's a weird sentence, isn't it? <laughs> Now, I know this is a lot to take in, Ollie Boy, but I'm sure you'll get used to it. I... I guess. <laughs> I love how I make Oliver sound like a girl. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright. To Ding Dong Dell. Looks to me like a classic case of broken heartedness. Broken heartedness? You mean that thing you were talking about before? That's right. The broken hearted are people who've had part of their hearts stolen. Poor souls uh, just aren't themselves. Go all weird and uh, useless, they do. So his heart was broken uh, by. Keep up, will you? Shadar, innit? If anyone tries to stand up to him or does anything he doesn't like, he breaks their hearts into pieces so they can't put up a fight. Jeepers. But if he stays that way, we can't get into Ding Dong Dell. Mm. Then you'd better cure him, ain't it, Ollie boy? It's time to mend your first broken heart. Mend it? But how do I do that? Well, you can't do it just yet. There's a couple of things we'll be needing first. <laughs> Another thing while I'm doing the narration as well, it's so off-putting, is that I'm using a gaming headset and it's got a microphone attached to it and I... I can hear myself reading the narration, but there's an echo. So, like, I hear myself saying what I'm saying a few seconds later. <laughs> it's so weird. But if anyone knows how to fix that, please let me know in the comments because that would really be a lifesaver. Okay, so let's carry on. But I know an old man who's got just what we need. Proper useful, I am, eh? An old man? What old man? What do you mean, what old man? The old man, ain't it? Lives in a wood to the north of here. Proper deep and deeply dark it is. That's why they call it the deep dark wood. Makes sense, I guess. Alright. So, we're going to go to the deep dark wood. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I was just seeing how long I'd been playing because like I say I don't want to keep these videos really long so let's just make our way to the deep dark wood and I'm 
might start a few fights as well. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably getting fights on the way anyway. Look, there we go. <laughs> Attack! Ah! Just get a bit more XP before I get to the deep dark wood. Yeah, this game can be a little bit stingy with the XP, which is why I'm so grateful that I discovered the uh, the XP farming exploit. If you've seen my tip video, you'll know about, but um, you won't be able to go there for quite a while. So, let's just uh, plug along until then. Such a beautiful game, isn't it? Huge game. Now, let's fight him. <laughs> Attack! Hey, look at that, my XP bar barely moved. <laughs> we can actually check, I think, can we? No, we can't just check. But, while I've got the bottomless bag open, I'll just show you. We've got provisions, weapons, armour, accessories, treats, ingredients, and important items. Now, in this important items, if you have a look, you've got different tickets already there. Now, these are tickets that you can exchange for real familiars later in the game, uh, when you get to the Temple of Trials. And that is the most important ticket, in my opinion because that familiar is really powerful. Um, so just bear that in mind. Let's go. Yay, the deep dark wood. <laughs> Forest of fairy tales. Look at that! It's a waystone! There's useful. A waystone? Yeah, Mun. They're these ancient stones, see? You can use them to store a record of your adventures so far. In wild places like forests and so on, you can't just plonk yourself on the nearest rock and write your story down. But why not? Why not, he says. Give me strength, Mun. Because they're crawling with horrible beasties, ain't it? They are? That sounds kind of scary. You'll get used to it, Mun. Just remember, you can't go recording your progress any old way. Alright, okay. Yep, perfect. Those waste stones, you can um, save your progress. That is basically what they're just trying to say in a really weird way. <laughs> right, oh, next stop, the old man of the woods. Right. So that's a waste stone. That you use later. So yeah, we can save progress here. Mm. Nah, I won't save it just yet. Actually, yeah, go on, I'll save it. <laughs> I love that, go on. <laughs> right, we're going to need new data. Look at that, my proud saves. <laughs> right, perfect. Right, we'll speak to the tree and then uh, and call it a day for this video, that is. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Mr. Drippy, nah. wait for me. Who goes there? 
Jeepers. Ollie boy, meet old father Oak. How do you, a leafiness? Oh, Drippy, it's you. And to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, I got a visitor by her from another world, see? And what it is is, I was wondering if you might lend us a bit of a hand, like. Oh, I should have known. You only ever come to see me when you are in need. Sorry, you at all, ship. <laughs> you know I'm always very grateful. Hmm. This boy. Ah, spotted it, did you, you bark ship? Well, well. The pure hearted one. He who will drive out the darkness. And Rippy, you mean to... That's right, your ancient ship. We're off to give Shadar a right royal hiding. You? Why? <laughs> as reckless as ever, I see. <laughs> Very well. You shall have my aid. Yay. But first, we had better give the boy a familiar, had we not? Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Clean forgot I did. He's right, Dolly boy. It might be a bit early, but I suppose we better teach you how to conjure up familiars, innit? Familiars? Yeah, familiars. You're in our world. You can magic up little fighting creatures from your heart, see? They're called familiars. Where we're going, the beasties are only gonna get bigger and meaner. So, you're gonna need a helping hand, or claw, or beak, or tentacle. <laughs> Can I really do it? Well, there's only one way to find out. You want to help your mom, don't you? Uh, sure I do. Well then, grab your wizard's companion and turn to the page marked Form Familiar. But Mr. Drippy, there's no spell named Form Familiar here. You what? <laughs> the boy is correct. <laughs> That's my tree voice, apparently. Look at his wizard's companion. It would seem that it is missing more than a few of its pages. Really? Knickers. So, does that mean I can't cast the spell? Ho ho ho. I am not as powerless as all that young man. Oliver, was it? Let me see now. Form familiar. Ah, yes. A gift from me to you, young Oliver. <laughs> uh, I'm literally making up these voices as I go along, so it makes me laugh as well, but whatever. Oh, dear. Hey, new spell. Thank you very much, old Father Oak. But simply possessing the page for a particular spell is no guarantee that you will be able to make use of it. Some spells are simply not meant for certain wizards, such is life. Don't worry about that for now, Mun. Just give Farm Familiar a go, will you? Sure thing, Mr. Drippy. <laughs> I wonder if my neighbours can hear me and they're like, what is she talking about? What is she doing? <laughs> All right, form familiar. There we go. <laughs> oh, dear. What's this? That's tidy work, Ollie boy. Look at that. A warrior from your very own heart. A familiar. This is a familiar? That's right. The fighting spirit inside you made flesh a soldier of your soul. It's a shame you can't choose what your starter familiar is. <laughs> that was mean trick. And the stronger you get, the harder he's gonna hit as well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> cool. So this is a familiar, huh? And he'll be coming with us. Indeed he will, Ollie boy. The more the merrier, ain't it? Here, you better give this little fellow a name, eh? Right, we've got Mighty, Matey, Mito, Mighty. I always go with Mighty. I don't know why. Maybe I'll spice it up. Let's, uh, let's name him Bob. <laughs> there we go. Oliver, we cannot let you set off into the wild with only that withered wand in your hand. 
Let me give you some spells to aid you in battle. The first is the restorative incantation known as Healing Touch. Tidy! That's the most useful spell there is for a wandering adventurer. Cuts, bruises, sprains, gashes, all gone in a jiffy with Healing Touch. Gee, you make it sound like I'm going to get hurt an awful lot, Mr. Drippy. <laughs> I think you will. <laughs> Next, I give you the gift of the Blazing Inferno Fireball. Shoots a little ball of fire, that one does. Plant-based beast is flipping hate fire, mon. Even old Tree Face here is scared of fireball. Drippy, how dare you? I would You would never aim such a spell at me, would you, boy? Golly, of course not, old Father Oak. Yay, fireball. Yep, now we can access the spells menu by pressing square. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not doing tutorial reading. <laughs> uh oh. Huh? Spoiling for a fight, is it? Better give him what he wants, Ollie boy. Huh? But what do I do? Just think what you want him to do and he'll do it. It's as easy as falling off a logman. Okay. Just think what I want him to do. Here goes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Come on, Bob. Let's go. Let's kill these teeny boppers. <laughs> right, so yeah, it's all the same controls. You can switch between yourself and the uh, and Bob with L2 and R2. So it's pretty easy. Simple. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, we get it. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a bit that we do need to know. Um, they have different signs. So, you know, it shows what signs they are there. Yeah, so there's four of them. Sun, moon, star and planet. That's something you should definitely need to know. Different ones get on better. So, yeah. So yeah, we share HP and MP with each familiar. So yeah, there we go. He's telling you. <laughs> Let's just skip past this. <laughs> oh! Oh, I accidentally pressed cut loose. But that's fine. That's his special ability in action. Oh! That is weak. <laughs> Oh, let's get that magic. Right, and let's change back to Oliver. I pressed L1 so that I can change mid-battle. Let's try out them spells he gave me. Fire. Perfect. So now you know how to fight with a familiar, ain't it, Ollie boy? To be a true contender, you'll need to learn when to let your familiar lose and when to take control yourself. Uh, let your familiar loose, not lose. You don't want him to lose. <laughs> I can't read. I'm trying my best. Leave me alone. Oh, there we go. I do my best, Mr. Drippy. Oh, and when he's not fighting, the little fellow can be found taking it easy in the creature cage. Yeah, I'll show you the creature cage later. We can just skip this bit. You can feed them treats and stuff like that. The creature cage. Got it. I promise to look after him real well, Mr. Drippy. Oh, I almost forgot. We had something we wanted to ask you. You were trunking us. There's a guard down in Ding Dong Dell and he's broken hearted, see? Hmm, broken hearted, you say? Shadar's evil spreads still further. So you will be needing? That we will, you are okitude. There's quick you are. You have still got it, ain't you? 
<laughs> Patience, young drippy. Of course I have. Let me see now. Hmm. I know it's here somewhere. Crikey, you've not gone and lost it, have you? Hmm. Lost it? The insolence. I put it away safely among my uppermost branches. It's just a little tangled up there, that's all. Ah, while I seek it out, I have a favour to ask of you. Well, I did mention we're in a flipping hurry, didn't I? We haven't got time to go. Mr Drippy, we should help old Father Oak. He gave us those spells, didn't he? Ah, how very refreshing to meet such a responsible and honest young man. All right, all right, I get the flipping message. Go on, what is it you need us for? Well, it's the Guardian of the Woods, you see. The Guardian, eh? What's up with the old fellow? I'm afraid he's become rather unruly of late, and he's neglecting his duties. Well, 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 that's no good, is it? You'd better help you sort him out then, eh? The Guardian? He sounds kind of tough. Too right he is. He's way stronger than your average beastie. But you've got a familiar on your side now, mun. You'll be fine. And besides, if you were going to take down Shaddai, you can't back out of a bit of a light Guardian bashing now, can you? Okay, I'll do it. How very kind of you. The Guardian can be found in the deepest part of the wood beyond the whispering waterfalls. I wish you luck. First spells, now familiars. You were turning into a proper wizard, ain't it, Ellie boy? I guess I am, huh? Now then, why don't you take a closer look at you and new mate, eh? Uh, how do I do that, Mr Drippy? It's a piece of cake, mun. Now listen up. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, you got your main menu, friends and familiars. I'll show you in a second. Now... You are still new to this wizarding lark, so there's a limit to what you can do, ain't it? But keep fighting those monsters and eventually you'll get stronger. We call that levelling up, see? You'll probably make some new mates before long and all, so be sure to take a closer look at them, like I showed you. You got it, Mr Drippy. Right, friends and familiars page, I'll show you. Hang on. Right, so, we've got friends and familiars. See, look at that, you got EXP to next level, just one. And see, he needs 15. Right, so, let's go onwards. I'm just going to go to the next waystone. And then we'll uh, end the video. Really didn't want these videos to be that long. But, you know, I think we're, we're making good time. Waterfalls! <laughs> Looks really nice. I'd best warn you, Ellie boy. It's absolutely crawling with monsters beyond here. Careful you don't get got before you even get to the Guardian, eh? I'll be fine, Mr. Drippy. I have a familiar to help me now. There's brave you are. Don't forget though, if the going gets tough, don't be afraid to cast Healing Touch. I sure won't. And remember what old Treeface told you. The spells menu is a mere tap of square away. You should try to familiarise yourself with the main menu too while you're at it. Don't worry, you are not going to break anything no matter what you press. So have a good old poke around, ain't it? And when you learn new skills and that, new options will come up in the main menu. So keep your eyes peeled and make the most of your new toys. Jeepers, there's so much to remember. You'll soon get used to it, Armun. No worries. Now, past the Whispering Waterfalls and onto the Guardian of the Woods we go. Right, let's go help him get back to normal. <laughs> right, come on. <laughs> let's go. Right. Let's save it here. Yes! Mm. 
Right. So, I'm going to leave this video here. And uh, that's been good. I hope you're liking my narration. If it's like really crap or annoying, let me know. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm sorry. I've never done this before, okay? Um, so, yeah. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Um, you can be notified of new videos. And we've got a lot of content um, already up and coming up. Um, as well as Let's Plays. We've got list videos and things like that as well. And tips, you know. I've done a Nino Cuny tip video as well. So you can check that out. Um, so yeah, in the next video we're going to um, continue with the Whispering Waterfalls and get the Guardian. Um, so yeah, I've been Heather, this has been Amalgam Mingle, and thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Alright, bye!